this office, I don't know. I mean, many people say has been mismanaged for many years. I've been there only for two years. There is no demand for removal of any of the people who are a party to that mismanagement, misgovernance. Now, I am in the process of curbing the expenditure, introducing the reforms, plugging the loopholes from which pilferage is happening. Now, don't you think it is ironical that I, there is a move to remove me? I mean, I mean, it's okay if one is innocent, you can be, you know, like easily swayed by, you know, emotions and things like that. But for those people who are rational, who can think logically, I mean, they should know what is the politics behind the demand for my removal. Many people did not take up this challenge because they said it will be detrimental to the career, to their career. But I ha basically I'm an army officer's daughter, so I took the challenge head on, you know, because I said, if everybody looks for a plush posting, plum posting, everybody looks for comfort, it was a point of us serving. Somebody has to take the challenge. And I knew the risk, and I have taken it, no head, knowing very well the risk, and that is why I'm not at all affected by their demand for my renewal, uh, removal because my conscience is clear and I'm very, very happy about my achievements in my two years as secretary to the executive council. I'm very satisfied. So even if I am removed, you know, because of their allegations which are false and fabricated, I'm not responsible for not non-dispersal of the salary of 32 months as they are claiming. I'm not at all. Any rational minded, you know, individual will know that. So how do you justify my removal? What are the demands for my removal? What is their justification for my removal? What is their reason? Non-salary, uh, non-payment of salary? I'm not responsible for that. They are also questioning your behavior, your uh, manners towards the employee. Let me tell you, that lady, she has herself declared in the open that she is not at all a good worker. She has herself admitted in her speech that she had made a mistake with the account number. It's a, it's a serious lapse. When you make a mistake writing somebody's account number and the money goes to some other account, it's a serious lapse. Now you want to rectify that, so why don't you put it in the file? The file comes to me and I said, okay. Why do you have to bring that thing in your hand? Where is the need for you to come personally? What does the office procedure, what is the office procedure? You say that, you know, this thing has happened, so we may rectify, kindly approve. Where is the need for discussion? Why waste my time? Especially during COVID time, where we have to, you know, interact, minimal interaction should be there. Now she's saying that Gupan Jatmang, Mistake 